Hey everyone, Vince here. Today I have a brand new app that will pay you to play games. I hope you enjoy. Let's kick this off. This is my Pirate Pay Play Game for Cash review. Let me break down exactly how it works first. So straight away, we're greeted to the rules everyone here and the country we are from. Once signed in, we're greeted to a very easy to understand layout. Top of the screen, we have our in-game currency of gold coins. You can see I have 749 right now. And looking towards the middle of the screen, we have all the various offer wall providers that we can go through. Now, these are the main ones on the front screen. You'll notice at the top there is that you have different little icons. For instance, tapping on the gold coin, takes you to a playtime reward area. Here we have the playtime reward option, which will pay us to play games. We even have a CPX research area for surveys. And then Pirate Pay has its own little area where it wants us to install their selected applications for gold coins. Here you can see if I play a game called Space Treasure for three minutes and keep the app on my phone for three days, I'll earn 1,600 of these gold coins. But without understanding how the currency system works, you're not going to know what the offers are actually paying. So let me show you now. Top right corner of the screen, you have the little treasure chest icon. Tapping on that will bring you to the various cash out options. Straight away, you can see that we have various PayPal withdrawal options here available. Starting off with a tiny amount of 3,000 coins needed for the minimum cash out of 20 cents. 10,000 coins goes to a dollar. And as you can see, it just keeps on going on here. The higher we go, the little bit more of a discount we get. It goes all the way up to $50 PayPal, everyone. Scrolling down further, we'll let you see the gift card cash out option as well. Here you can choose through all the various countries that you can withdraw this gift card to. As you can see, the list just keeps on going and going. This is a very cool feature of Pirate Pay. You can also recharge your mobile number as well here, but I've never done the credit recharge before. Okay, so pretty impressive stuff there straight away with Pirate Pay. It's always nice to see a low minimum cash out app. Tapping on the skull with the bandana will show us even more options available to generate these coins with. We'll get into these later on everyone because I really want to show you the playtime rewards area. So tapping on the gold coin at the top of the screen will allow us to go to the playtime rewards area. Now this is where Pirate Pay really shines everyone. Straight away you can see a can play empires and puzzles and earn 610 coins per minute for a total of 38,000.8 coins. Here we have a TikTok offer, 871 coins per minute for a total of 55.5 thousand coins. A Dice Dreams offer, 487 coins per minute, 31 thousand coins. I can play Slotto Mania slots for 647 coins per minute, up to 41 thousand of the coins. We even have Alibaba, everyone, for 687 coins per minute, up to 43 thousand coins. Now just remember, if you cannot break down that currency, 55 5,000 of the coins will almost give me $5.50. So technically on this screen right now, Empires and Puzzle will give me $3.80 or so. TikTok, $5.50 or so. Dice Dreams, $3.10 or so. Zlotomania, around $4.10. Alibaba, around $4.30. You can see I've been playing Coin Master here and already generated $2 worth of cash. I can earn up to $6.30 with Coin Master. Now if I tap on the more button, here is where you can actually break down down the offer itself. You have your progress at the top of the screen, the description of the application, the reward conditions, and the rewards themselves. Scrolling through here, you can see that this playtime reward system is a little bit different to what we're used to. We now have clear goals, everyone. And you can see here, the longer I play these games for, the more money I'm going to earn. For instance, if I play for another 16 minutes, I'll earn 16 cents worth of cash, pretty much. And then it just keeps on going. I have to say, Pirate Pay has an amazing playtime reward system, so well done to them. Something to remember here though, I live in Australia, so these rates are what I get in my country. In your country, it could be different. And by the way, everyone, while you're watching, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment. I need you guys more than ever. I'm actually getting paid pennies to make these videos now by YouTube, because it seems I have an issue with my account now. When I get that sorted, I'm still going to keep trying to post, by the way. It's just a little bit disheartening. Alright, so heading to the main area. First of all, we have some tap joy offers. Now, this is super, super cool, everyone. You can see here, we have offers that are willing to pay us millions of these coins, guys, okay? And that means hundreds of dollars. Remember, $50 equals 482,000 of the coins. So when you see anything that's around 500,000 coins, you just break it down to $50, okay? So now you can see so many different offers here that are willing to pay me over $50, actually nearly $100, 
for simply playing them. Granted, these offers though are multi-tiered rewards. You have to pay attention here when it says up to 342,000. That's because with further inspection, you can clearly see that we have multiple things that we would have to achieve in order to get the full reward. You guys probably understand how this works by now. But if you have a look here, dude, this Rise of Kingdoms offer is almost $200, everyone. That's insane. Then we have a slot machine offer here for slot mate for almost $110. Now, if we tap that little ad button, that instantly plays an advertisement in return for some coins. It seems I barely earned any coins there. In fact, checking the history, you can see I literally only gained 20 coins for watching an advertisement. So that's literally nothing. Now, I'm not going to go through every single offer here, guys. So looking at Iron Source quickly, they kind of have some relatively high offers, but not the highest I've seen on Pirate Pay by any means. But again, another option for you guys to play and earn money. It's pretty cool that we have a fish dom offer here for around $65 or so. It seems they're running a time three promotion as well. What about Polefish? Polefish has some really, really bad offers here. Like, look at this, everyone. Literally 100 points, 50 points, not worth our time whatsoever, my friends. What about CPX Research? All right, so now we're talking. Straight away, I see some surveys here, everyone. 11 minutes for $2.10. That's actually solid. And scrolling down here, you can see we have well over a dollar per survey. Then it goes down to 90 cents, 80 cents, 70 cents. Very impressive to see $2.10 worth of surveys here. Whether or not I get screened out or not is a whole nother thing, but it is nice to see. What about Revenue Universe? So Revenue Universe, again, not too impressive here, everyone, okay? Okay, $10 for this bingo holiday offer, where we can easily get that for like $30 on another offer wall. And scrolling down here, you can see that the prices really don't get that much better, okay? And this is the problem with these type of offer wall systems. Hence why you should always compare your offer wall providers so you don't get ripped off. What about the survey area? So I have 52 surveys available. And you can see here straight away, the prices vary. We have $1.60 there, $1.40, $1.30. Keep scrolling down, a dollar, and then it gets 90 cents and lower and lower here, okay? Pretty average prices actually, nothing too spectacular. At least we can earn a few dollars there, but these are long surveys, everyone. And there's a good chance we get disqualified. There's also AdGate. Something that I do like about AdGate is that it has a very clear setup. Straight away, you can see the recommended for you area. $36 for a bingo blitz offer. Roughly around that price. You might actually get more. Monopoly Go for 145,000 of the coins, which converts to around $15 or more. And we have a $50 plus offer there for Smash Party. And you can see here scrolling down, obviously the more lower I go, the different prices you're going to get. So many different offers available on Pirate Pay. And it's so good to see everyone. This is a breath of fresh air. Like the a parachute offer. $50 plus there. Easily. You really don't see these type of applications come along that often. So I really hope it's actually available in your own country. What I'm going to do now is show you how the new playtime reward system works. So starting off, I have 819 of the gold coins. Let's say I'm going to play Empires and Puzzles. Technically, I should earn 610 of the gold coins per minute. Tapping play now will take me straight to the Google Play Store page where I can install the app. So I'll be back when that's all set up. Okay, from this point onwards now, Pirate Pay is going to be recording my gameplay time in return for the gold coin. So, I'm gonna play for roughly five to 10 minutes. I'll be back in a second. By the way, this is why the play and earn applications are so good because you can actually play games and generate coins in return. And there seem to be better and better games appearing on these type of applications. Like these type of casual games are fantastic to play. You can pass the time with them. All right, I now have 3,400 of the coins. And looking at the details page, you can see here, it's rewarded me every single time for playing those minutes. And now I have the next task available. It's literally as simple as that. So technically, I now have 20 cents that I can cash out. But for today's video, I withdrew $2. So everyone, now that you know everything about Pirate Pay that I feel like you need to know, is it actually a legitimate application? Well, I cashed out my $2 worth of PayPal currency and I was paid literally within 24 hours. So yes, Pirate Pay is legitimate in my own experience, everyone, and a great way to earn by playing games. The problem is it might not be for everyone because of country restrictions. Well, at least here in Australia, it's a solid app so far. Share this to anyone you think needs to see it, and I'll see you all in a few days.